Well, you've heard him say it, turn around, don't drown. That's the slogan authorities use to remind drivers to avoid flash floods. But all too often, drivers try to make it through the water only to get stuck and need to be rescued. KRDO News Channel 13, Scott Harrison joins us live at the bottom of steep hills along 8th Street. And Scott, that's one of those places where people often drive into trouble. Well, JJ, there is a lot of water and heavy rain that can come really flooding down these hills here, accumulate at the bottom and cause problems on 8th Street for traffic trying to come up and down the hill. Now, some drivers still think they can get through that no matter how deep the water might be. And we found that what people say they would do and what they should do can be quite different. Waves of water rushing through Ute Pass, taking vehicles with it. This was an extreme flood event, but what about those sudden bursts of rain that flood our streets this time of the year? For adults, sometimes your stubbornness can get in the way of what you really know the risk is. Um, being, you know, a lot of us adults are in a rush day to day. It's like from spot to spot, we're racing to get to that next spot. Or I might have one of my kids get out to see how deep it is, and if it ain't too deep, I ride through it. No, not me, don't do that. Firefighters say it shouldn't come to that. They conduct many high water rescues. Their advice, don't take the chance. Um, if we don't know the depth of water, we don't want to drive our vehicles into it. Uh, vehicles get swept away in, in very low um, levels of water. And if firefighters have to rescue you, they're in danger too. This week, Colorado Springs firefighters on the heavy rescue unit are undergoing swift water training in the Arkansas River, which is always higher than usual at this time of the year. Those firefighters are acquiring the skills they'll need to rescue you if you become trapped during a heavy rain in a drainage area that becomes more like a raging river. Much like we saw in 2013 along Highway 24. Firefighters say you'll make it easier on everyone if you avoid it and not try to go through it. And authorities say if you do become trapped in high water, call 911 immediately. We're live in Colorado Springs. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.